on today's episode of Cooking with Ruby with non-kitchen materials, I'm going to teach you how to make soda with none other than our friends at Power Tank. Step one. Go on Facebook Marketplace and get yourself a soda stream. This one originally was $40. <laughs> then the guy gave it to me. Why did he give it to me? Because apparently I looked like I needed a free soda stream. Step two, take your empty canister, go on Amazon and buy a quick disconnect thingamajigger. If you have a newer type of soda stream, this is super handy. My archaic dinosaur of a soda machine doesn't, this doesn't work. But there's two different types of filler mechanisms and I got the one that works with a quick disconnect. Instead of spending, I think $46, I spent 40 or 50, I don't remember. But Amazon has everything. So you put the bottle that you're filling in the freezer. This is a power tank jetpack. These go in my race car. My big tanks are all empty right now, so didn't have one to use, but we're gonna fill those up. But this little filler, quick disconnect filler, screws on just right. So we're gonna put this on, tighten her down. Hopefully it works. Then open it up. Sounds like I'm letting more out. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I need to screw it in tighter. There we go. And you don't want to overfill it. Using a scale to weigh your tanks before and after is the best way. We're going for good enough. So now for the fun part, hopefully. Do, do, do. Off, unscrew this. Now let's put it in our soda stream, see if it works. It's nice and cold. I'm gonna screw it in. There we go. Okay. Final step take your chilled water because chilled water makes the best soda. Don't forget to close your fridge. Screw it in. And. Make that sound. Three times. Boom. I also forgot to tell you if you tip it this way, it lets all the excess gas out and doesn't explode all over your kitchen. I forget to do that a lot. Last step, take your soda of your choice. Oh, I don't want that one. Get the soda flavor that you want. I am a Fresca addict. So their ginger, uh, grapefruit is my go-to. Put however much in you want. Make sure it's mixed, but don't shake it because then it's gonna go all over your kitchen. Cheers. Perfect. Save myself $30. Everything I'm going to post, I got on Amazon, super easy, efficient, saves you money, and who needs another reason or way to use their power tank? I personally can't get over how many endless possibilities there are. We use them in the house, outside of the house, anywhere, like, you literally could use air or CO2, Power Tank helps you deliver it. And also, my jet pack, like I said, I use this in the race car. I actually fill these from my larger Power Tanks. That you can buy on Power Tank's website, and I'll tag that, or I'll link that as well. So, 
Stay tuned for more fun ways to make things in the kitchen that have nothing to do with the kitchen but car stuff. Stay tuned for more cooking in the kitchen that's not really cooking with Ruby.